So today's VOIP question on Quora is how do Grasshopper and Ring Central compare for a startup looking for a VOIP system? This is a really good question, probably the best question that I've ever seen on here. Um, it's really going to separate the difference between a number forwarding service, which is a hosted number solution, and a business VOIP, which is a, a real true PBX system that's designed to replace a landline telephone system. So he goes on to say, specifically looking to understand which service has the highest quality and most flexibility. That's a really, really good question. Any better services I should consider? <clears throat> yeah, I do have a couple to recommend. Let me um, let me make sure that there isn't anything else in here that needs to be addressed. Okay, so let's address the main part, which is how do Grass Grasshopper and Ring Central compare? So Grasshopper is a number forwarding service. So if you wanted to, let's say I don't know, let's say you started a, a gutter cleaning business on the weekends. Right, you've always wanted to start a side business, <clears throat> so now you advertise on Craigslist or you advertise in the Yellow Pages or on Google or wherever. And let's say you do gutter cleaning services for your company, and it's going to probably take you six to eight months to build that up into where you can have quit your nine to five and have like either yourself or one truck, a crew, on a regular schedule. <clears throat> now, let's take that as an example. The reason why I'm creating this example is because there's a difference between a, a business, a service based business that is location independent that services customers at their location. And, the, and I'll explain why a number service works great for that in a second. And then a business VOIP, which is really structured for people that need to have a retail location, an office location, uh, some sort of a showroom or something like that, and really sticking with the service-based business theme. So for example, if you are a contractor, or let's say you're a kitchen cabinet maker, it might be a good idea for you to have a showroom so that you could show off your cabinetry, you could show off your crown molding, you could show off your door options or whatever. Um, I've worked with a lot of contractors, so I know the ins and outs of you know, different phone systems, the limitations and the pros and the cons and how to get the best value for the money. So <clears throat> in the first example, let's say, you know, a guy starts a gutter cleaning business on the side, right? And he's doing it on weekends. He's going to advertise on Craigslist. He doesn't want to put his, his uh, or in the neighborhood, maybe he's doing a mail drop um, or an EDDM campaign or a campaign. Um, <clears throat> so maybe he doesn't want to put his personal cell phone number out there, right? He doesn't want people to get his personal information. He's working out of his house. It's just like a truck and a trailer and start, you know, it could be any kind of startup. It could be a tech startup, whatever. Same idea. <clears throat> um, number one, doesn't want his personal information to be given away because of his family and stuff like that. Number two, it's not professional because, I don't know, like I live in Florida. Maybe I lived in Georgia beforehand and I have a Georgia cell phone number and now I'm going to call customers in Florida with a Georgia number. You know, like there's a huge, there's a couple conflicts that are right off the bat, they just don't work. So <clears throat> the easiest way for this guy in this situation to get a business line that's cheap, like 10, 15, less than 20 bucks a month, is to use Grasshopper, which is a number forwarding service. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these. There's eVoice, there's Mighty Call, there's Line2, there's Google Voice. You can't get 1-800 numbers or toll-free numbers right now in Google Voice, so that's why a lot of people opt to go for one of the forwarding services. Um, the main thing is <clears throat> where where things separate or differentiate is as soon as you go from wanting to add a business line on a, on a mobile device or a BY, BYOD, which is bring your own device, as soon as you go from that to actually wanting to have a phone that plugs in, then you need a true business VOIP. Those are two separate um, needs. I, this is how I separate all the providers. So you have like Grasshopper and eVoice and Mighty Call and Line2 and Google Voice and all this stuff are your number forwarding services. And then over here, You've got Ring Central, you have Call 8, you have 8x8, uh, you have, um, it's just the list goes on and on, Vonage, Nextiva, you could do, there's there's some that are in the middle, I hesitate to, to mention like Uma and Obi, Obi is a little um, phone adapter that works with Google Voice, but I don't really trust Google Voice with a, bit, a primary business line that actually is you know going to make me money, I'm going to put blood, sweat and tears into because I feel like I don't actually own it and that really... I would personally would never do that, and I don't recommend anybody else does either. So <clears throat> your second part of the question, so the biggest difference between how Grasshopper compares to Ring Central, they really don't compare. Like there really is no difference. One is a business VOIP that's designed to replace a landline telephone provider and do a lot more. They also have a soft phone app, Grasshopper does not. Uh, Grasshopper is a phone forwarding service that lets you add a virtual business line to your cell phone. That's pretty much all it does. Uh, they do have some other features, like um, I don't want to dissuade you from using that. I'm just trying to create uh, a gap there so that you know you and other people that come across this video can figure out what's right for them right off the bat. Like it shouldn't take more than two minutes. 
I know you Google this stuff and you look at a lot of the descriptions and everything and people make this shit really complicated. It's really not that big of a deal. I have three go-to virtual phone providers that I recommend and that I use myself. If you just want a cheap line on your cell phone, go with Grasshopper. Don't worry about keeping track of all this stuff. I'm gonna put links to everything in the YouTube description. Uh, I also got a discount code for you guys that should be good for a little while more longer uh, if you need a little you know, help, save you a couple bucks. Um, Grasshopper will let you easily get a, a business phone line on your cell phone. <clears throat> the second favorite provider is phone.com. Phone.com I view as a hybrid. They will do the fancy, fancy stuff like um, they have a soft phone app, which is basically lets you take and make calls on your computer with nothing more than a USB microphone. You know, get a little headset on, put this on. You can take and make calls. You can run your business phone system from any computer from anywhere in the world. It taps into it with the application that you download that's free. Um, but it also does everything that Grasshopper does. Now, it's gonna be a few more bucks a month by the time you do all the add-ons. So Grasshopper price point is like around 12 bucks a month. Uh, Phone.com would probably be between 10 and $15 a month for a single line now. You can have unlimited extensions with most of these, but you won't have multiple lines for that price unless you pay additional. Um, <clears throat> and then we go to the third, which would be Ring Central. Now, Ring Central's office program is great for people that know that they're going to have a retail location. They know they want to do multi line support, which is multiple business numbers. And if you want to support two locations or more, Ring Central is definitely the choice. So, why don't I recommend Ring Central for most people that are just getting started out? To be honest with you, most people are never going to use the features of Ring Central. Most people are never going to use video conferencing. They're not going to use that as an add on. Um, <clears throat> nine times, nine times out of ten, just let me take a water sip here. Throat's getting dry. Sorry. Nine times out of ten, um, most people are going to be happy with Grasshopper. They just use your cell phone for business. It's professional. You can set the business caller ID. You can differentiate between personal and business calls. You don't have to take calls after hours. You have business SMS. Works with a smartphone. Yada yada yada. The only reason really to go with um, a fully featured VIP provider like Ring Central or phone.com or any of the others, 8x8, is if you want to support phone hardware. So if you actually want phone hardware or you know you're going to have multiple locations, I would start out with Ring Central. Um, they do a much better job at that. Their soft phone app is also better. Um, the hybrid, like I said before, is phone.com. I like phone.com a lot. It's one of my favorite providers. Uh, I've used them for various different numbers for different businesses uh, here in Central Florida, and it's worked out extremely well. The reason that I like it so much is that they have the same functionality as Grasshopper in that you get a free smartphone app. I don't know where my phone is. Uh, I could show it to you. You get a free smartphone app, right? So you can do everything that Grasshopper does. But in the event that, you know, we all work hard on our businesses, right? So you never know when they're going to blow up or when you're going to expand or maybe, you know, things that you didn't plan on can happen. The thing that I like about phone.com is that they actually, let me just pull it up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There is a link in the YouTube description for um, all of these different services. If you don't remember the names, no big deal. There's also going to be some links in the YouTube description for um, some articles or buyer's guides that I wrote that compare a lot of these services. I've done separate videos, but the, the articles will really help you. So just go to the YouTube description, click on a couple of those links. It'll take you to my blog, cleverleverage.com, and um, uh, you can read those there. So one of the cool things, you should be able to see split screens right now. One of the cool things about phone.com is that <clears throat> it's cheap to get to um, when you're starting out. And then if you do grow to the point where you need more than just a, a number, a business line forwarded to your cell phone, they allow you to lease these, um, oh, if I log into my account, it's gonna be totally different. So they changed the website. Right now, they're not showing the monthly price. They're just showing a flat flat fee. I'm pretty sure that they still let you do, um, yeah, this, this is, it's gonna be totally different for people who aren't customers. So the, um, the biggest advantage that I see to going with phone.com is that it's still around 10, 15 bucks a month like Grasshopper. Uh, but if you know in advance that you're gonna want physical phone hardware, uh, the reason that you wouldn't use Grasshopper is because they don't support phone adapters and they don't support VOIP phones. They're strictly a BYOD provider. So that means you have to bring your own device for it to work. You have to have something that you're already talking on in order for the business line to forward to it and connect. So with something like phone.com, 
if you got to the point where that wasn't enough for you and you wanted the, the smartphone app on your phone and you had a retail location you wanted to have a secretary or maybe your wife you know does sales for you or whatever it may be um, <clears throat> it's really cheap to add I mean it's like 20 30 bucks a month to add excuse me there's my phone should have put that on silent um, it's like 20 30 bucks a month to add uh, physical phone hardware so like you get a VoIP phone plug it into the office location it's shipped to you it's pre-programmed you don't have to mess around with phone adapters and all that kind of stuff so I think that pretty much you know covers everything that most people are going to want to know um, and how to choose you know should I go with a business forwarding service or should I go with business VoIP should I go with ring central should I go with grasshopper um, you should have a good idea if you don't I'm going to put a link in the YouTube description to a comparison article that I wrote it's going to be it'll be something like ring central versus grasshopper which is right for you if you have additional questions don't comment on YouTube because there's so many haters and so many troll comments I don't have time to go through all the spam so I only look at those like once a month go to the link in the YouTube description there'll be links to all the services but there will also be a link to the blog post where I wrote a comparison article article comparing exactly what I'm talking about in this video if you have questions ask them in the comment system on my blog on that page and I'll answer them within 72 hours and um, and help you out if I left anything out. Hope that helps. Talk to you later.